charismatic. Opinionated. Really a good storyteller. He had a present. He had the worst possible gas. And it's going to be a great doctor. <laughs> well, the phrase I was going to use had been uh, full of life. Do you know who that is? Andrew. Why oh. did I, I Andrew get killed? I'm an only child, and I'll get around to why this is of any importance whatsoever. When I had to say, was my son murdered? and take that into your soul. And then to know how cold-bloodedly he was murdered. He wanted to break up with her. Oh, she said, that's it then. She was dumped again. And unfortunately, she made it to Canada before they could arrest her. On the afternoon of November 7th, 2001, my sister called to tell me that Dr. Andrew Bagby, my closest friend since the age of seven, had been killed. My name's Kurt, and I'm a filmmaker. Andrew appeared in every movie I made growing up. Jesus Christ. Kurt, Kurt what do you want? I mean, no, no, I just need... I'm, I'm just... I decided to make a movie to travel far and wide to interview everyone who ever knew and loved Andrew. Kurt! I just got a call from Mrs. Bagby. The abbreviated version is that bitch uh, held a press conference and announced she's four months pregnant with Andrew's baby. They can't prove it until the child's born. If it is true, the Bagbys are going to sue for custody. She named the little boy Zachary. To seek custody of the only grandson they would ever have, Andrew's parents moved to St. John's, Newfoundland, where Shirley Turner was unbelievably allowed to walk free on bail while awaiting extradition. In order to see Zachary, Kate and David were forced to stomach a civil relationship with the woman they knew murdered their only son. I now had a mission. My movie might be one of the only ways Zachary could see and get to know his father. So I pointed the van east toward Newfoundland and set off on a quest to bring a man back to life. Since you've been gone, I've lost my cleverness. And since you've walked away, I just can't deal with this. But I never could have guessed what would happen next. Ooh.